Both whey and creatine are safe, effective supplements for boosting gym performance and muscle growth, but have you ever thought of combining these two popular fitness supplements? By doing so, will you experience more benefits like greater energy and muscle gain? Today, we're going to answer those questions in this video. Creatine is an acid produced within the body, while whey protein supplies amino acids for the body to use as needed, but we'll get to know these two better in the next couple of minutes, so stay put and stay tuned. What creatine is and how it works. Creatine is an organic compound that's naturally produced in the body. It supports energy production during high-intensity workouts and heavy lifting. As for supplements, creatine boosts muscle mass, strength, and exercise performance. They're synthetically produced in a commercial laboratory. Creatine monohydrate is the most common form of creatine supplement. This organic compound is also found in many foods, specifically meat products. The thing is, the amount of creatine in meat is rather small, therefore lots of athletes and fitness enthusiasts turn to creatine supplements. What whey protein is and how it works. Whey is one of the primary proteins found in dairy products. Unlike creatine, it isn't an organic compound. It's often a byproduct of cheese production and can be separated to create a powder. Quality-wise, whey is at the top, which explains its huge popularity among bodybuilders and other athletes. Consuming whey protein after a bout of exercise has been associated with increased muscle mass and strength. Some also claim to have experienced enhanced recovery from whey protein. Real quick, hit that like button and let's get back into it. Taking creatine and whey protein together. This is what happens. The great news is that you can use both supplements together. Creatine and whey protein are absorbed and utilized on an as-needed basis. They also accomplish different yet complementary goals. During exercise, creatine supplements will replenish depleted reserves and support instant energy production. Consequently, this will lead to increased overall athletic performance. Then after a workout, when your muscles are all broken down, you can take whey protein to aid in muscle recovery. To sum it up, these two supplements don't cancel each other out but rather support each other. Thus, it's safe to say that users of both get the best of two worlds. Put simply, you get to enjoy all the benefits both creatine and whey protein have to offer. Bigger muscles? Yes. Improved brain function? Yes. These and many other benefits are to be discussed in a little while. Number 1. More energy. Creatine boosts the amount of phosphocreatine in your cells. Stored cellular phosphocreatine is responsible for stimulating the energy process at the cellular level. As a result, it helps produce chemical ATP, which is then burned during exercise to create energy. ATP is the basic power source in the cells, so in essence, creatine builds and activates energy at the most basic level. In fact, just a six-day creatine supplementation followed by a two gram per day maintenance dose can significantly elevate your muscle stores. Number two. Increased high-intensity performance. Creatine has been shown to scientifically improve high-intensity performance during training. It's all thanks to its direct role in ATP production. Unlike supplements that are only effective on advanced athletes, creatine benefits you regardless of your fitness level. Moreover, based on clinical studies, creatine supplements in conjunction with the right training regimen can boost athletes. Vertical jumps, weightlifting, and sprinting abilities. The effects of creatine on increased endurance are also linked to increased strength, fatigue resistance, increased muscle mass, quicker recovery, and even improved brain performance. Number 3. Greater muscle mass. Only a few legal supplements can directly create muscle mass when combined with exercise, and out of all those, creatine is the most effective, not to mention it's the most scientifically backed. It's effective for both short and long-term muscle growth. It even benefits different groups of people, including sedentary individuals, older adults, and elite athletes. As for whey protein, its effect on muscle mass gain is due to the branched-chain amino acids, which are instantly accessible for muscle protein synthesis. The high concentrations of leucine encourage muscle growth, muscle repair, and regeneration. Speaking of muscle gains, creatine doesn't just lead to greater gains but also speeds up the process itself. Here's how. Number 4. Faster muscle growth. Faster muscle growth. Creatine has been shown to accelerate muscle growth. Although athletes know this, there's also scientific evidence to back it up. Studies have reported increased muscle growth from creatine supplements, with significant increases occurring in as few as five days. Number 5. Low blood sugar levels. Creatine can also help lower blood sugar levels and even fight diabetes. According to studies, 
taking creatine supplements reduces blood sugar when combined with high-intensity exercise. Apparently, creatine can fight short-term blood sugar spikes, which in turn lowers blood sugar in the long run. Number 6. Better brain function. Just like creatine enhances the production of the energy-producing molecule called ATP, it also gives the same boost to the brain as it does to the muscle tissues. The brain requires a significant amount of ATP when carrying out difficult tasks. Through supplements like creatine that can boost phosphocreatine stores, it allows the brain to create more ATP. This in turn improves brain function, which also results in better recognition memory and reduced mental fatigue. Besides muscle gains, probably the next. If not the biggest reason athletes take whey protein is its ability to speed up muscle repair and recovery. Number 7. Faster muscle recovery. Exercise causes micro tears in muscle fibers, which explains the soreness you feel after working out. Consuming proteins is essential for helping your battered muscles recover. In particular, the assistance of amino acids or BCAAs in whey protein allows your body to build and repair muscle tissues better. Additionally, leucine, one of the three essential BCAAs, stimulates muscle protein synthesis. Muscle protein synthesis is a natural process in which protein is created to repair muscle damage caused by intense exercise. Number 8. Low blood pressure. According to studies, naturally occurring chemicals in dairy products can lower blood pressure. This effect has been attributed to a family of bioactive peptids found in dairy called the ACE inhibitors. In whey protein, these peptids are called lactokinins. Lactokinins have been found to reduce blood pressure in people diagnosed with hypertension, a common condition that is one of the leading risk factors for heart disease. Next up is how whey protein helps with blood fats. Number 9. Reduced blood fats. A study showed that whey protein supplements can substantially lower the number of fats in the blood, ultimately resulting in healthy weight management. Moreover, high cholesterol, specifically LDL or bad cholesterol, is a major risk factor for heart disease. In one study, in overweight people, 65 grams of whey protein daily for 12 weeks led to a significant reduction in both LDL and total cholesterol. Hence, with the right doses of whey protein supplements, you can reduce blood cholesterol as well as the risk of developing heart disease. Number 10. Protection against diabetes. In addition to creatine's ability to lower blood sugar, it turns out whey proteins have been shown to moderate blood sugar. On top of that, it can also raise natural levels of insulin in the bloodstream. These two benefits can effectively combat type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic disease characterized by impaired function of insulin and high blood pressure. Even when compared with other sources of protein like egg white and fish, whey protein is still the better option. In fact, the properties of whey protein can even be comparable to the properties of diabetes medications such as sulfonylurea. Dosage Notes the recommended daily allowance, RDA, for protein is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. But if certain conditions are met, then it's safe to go beyond the RDA. An example of this is when you're on strength training or if you're looking to increase your muscle mass. Nevertheless, it's not recommended to take too much all at once, as this may interfere with the proper digestion of your protein serving. Considering all those in mind, here are the typical serving size amounts recommended for protein and creatine. 20 grams of protein per serving. 3 to 5 grams of creatine per serving. For maximum nutrient absorption, you may choose to spread those dosage amounts into multiple subdoses and be taken at different times of the day. But if you want to appropriately time your creatine and protein consumption, then you can have 20 grams of protein and 3 to 5 grams of creatine together. Doing so may work best for maximizing the supplement's anabolic effects. What about you? Have you tried taking creatine and whey protein together? Did you experience any of the things we talked about? Share your experience with the community below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up.